an inbreeding depression. So do you have idea about the inbreeding and inbreeding depression? Inbreeding and inbreeding depression, Aisha. Quickly, tell me. Keep on telling me. I'll skip those part where you know. And outbreeding devices. Is out, what is the outcrossing? What is the crossbreeding? What is the interspecific? Uh, yeah, so there are inbreeding and then outbreeding. Outbreeding is of three types. Go through it and tell me. Okay, great. So you must know because you know uh, why I'm saying uh, you may get question. Uh, there are very uh, feeble chances of getting question from this part, right? But still, you can get question like this way. Which of the following is not true for the inbreeding? Which of the following is true for the outbreeding? That kind of a question. Then, um, after that, do you know these revolution? They have been asked, but not in recent year. Blue revolution, silver revolution, yellow revolution, green revolution, uh, white revolution, biofortification. SPP. Clear with this one? Okay. Tissue culture process? Yes, this is important. This process? This is important part. But it's easy. Clear. Okay. Tissue culture that is clear to you. And uh, one more thing I want you to. Do you have idea or do you remember this? You have to remember, uh, let me tell you, like some example of varieties of wheat. Sonalika, Kalyan, Sona and Himgiri. Varieties of rice, Jaya and Ratna. And sugarcane variety. Sacrum Barberi and Sacrum Official. Right, this one. Prasika. So this is Pusa uh, Swarnim. Uh, that is a, a rust-free uh, uh, mustard. Right. So these are the variety of wheat. Uh, like uh, they have asked the question. Like this way, which of the following is variety of sugarcane, or which of the following is sugar uh, wheat variety? So that kind of the question you may get. Uh, let me show you some example of some questions. Like in 2000, uh, yes, in 2014 there was a question. In vitro uh, colonial propagation plant characterized by microscopy, PCR, RAPD, uh, northern blotting, electrophoresis. And HPLC. Tell me. In vitro clonal propagation. What should be the answer? According to you, B. How? How do we do that? Answer is B.
Any idea? Clones are a PCR technique. PCR technique is uh, the technique with the help of that we multiply the DNA of that uh, DNA of that particular cell, uh, which clone we need to make, right? That's how you can answer the question. Which of the following enhances or uh, induces the fusion of a uh, protoplast? Fusion of protoplast means uh, that when the two cell fuses uh, or uh, two gamete fuses, the first protoplast fusion means uh, then uh, nucleus fusion takes place. Right? Plasmogamy and karyogamy, we call that. That is a particular term for that. So uh, the question is asking that which is the response for plasmogamy? Any idea? Aisha. I think C, <laughs> I think C or D. Sodium chloride and potassium chloride. Let's see. What is the answer? D is the answer. And uh, again, you can see it's easy question. Technique for micro micro propagation, right? And uh, Among fishes, which of the among is like uh, uh, edible fishes, right? That question. And the algae, which we discuss. And, uh, look, uh, the consumption of which of the following food can prevent the kind of blindness associated with the vitamin A deficiency? Can you tell me what should be the answer? It's easy. It's there in your NCRT as well. Older question. Very good, golden rice, right? That is the answer. So that that this is the this is the uh, uh, these are the type of the question which have been asked. And one more thing, remember the uh, variety which I told you that what is the Kalyan versus the Sonalika and all that. That kind of the varieties which have been given in your NCRT. But there are very weak chances of getting question uh, asking question from this chapter, right? So the percentage and probability is very less, right? But yes. Mm, the next which is important the next chapter is important chapter you may get questions from the uh, microbiology part that part is not that much important that was that was not important that much important for your uh, board perspective but yes this is important for your need examples microbe in human welfare that is that micro yes
I think this process must be clear to you, Aisha. TV statement plant. Yes. Right. Biogas plant, yeah, it's easy. It must be clear to you. Yes. So, uh, tell me some important factual. You may get fact time factual kind of the question from here. So, are you aware aware with this lab, right? Lab dough making bacteria, right? The bacteria which or fungus which are used in dough making process, cheese making cottage cheese, uh, Swiss cheese multiple time, cottage cheese multiple time, cheese making bacteria. So, are you aware with all the all those uh, bacteria and the uh, uh, Yeast which are used. This is important, Aisha. Which of the following called brewer yeast, breaker yeast? Which of the following is responsible for Swiss cheese making, cottage cheese making? Right, that is important. This question asked multiple times. Do you have that? In your book or in your notes. Yes, sir. Great. So this is important. You can note down somewhere from where the questions are uh, coming. And uh, this is important. A question have been asked. I have seen that question more than four times. Right. Uh, which enzyme is called a clot buster? Clot buster. You know? Aisha? Okay. If, you, if you don't know, uh, you can note down. Like, there is enzyme streptokinase. Streptokinase, right? A streptokinase is known as the clot buster. Clot buster. Or it is used, used for removing, it is given as injection, it is removing blood clot. from blood vessels you must have seen what happened um, like the people uh, which have got some injury and because of that some clotting have taken place it may be in brain it may be any part of the body so they are given a clot buster they are an enzyme called streptokinase so basically they uh, they make your blood thin right they uh, remove the thickness of your uh, blood and wherever the clot is there they will dissolve the clot and they will uh, maintain the flow of the blood so that is their function right so this is the stretto and uh, this is uh, it is obtained from that is important so clot buster first they have it, this question i've been asked multiple times more than four times i've seen so which of the following is called clot buster and the, these clot busters are getting uh, obtained from a streptococcus bacteria streptococcus bacteria So this is the source for them, right? And streptokinase, streptokinase, right? This is also known as this enzyme is also no don't this information known as TPA. TPA, the full form of TPA is tissue plasmonegen activator. Tissue. Plasminogen activator. No. 
this question I have seen multiple times. From where we get the vitamin B12? Aisha, idea? Do you have idea? Do you have this information with you or not? B12 produced comes. Produced. Do you have it, this idea? No, sir. Okay. Then note down. This question has been asked twice. Uh, commercially, uh, it is obtained from a uh, strain of propioni bacteria. Right. Example Propioni Charmini. This strain has been asked. S S M A I I Charmini. And uh, one more bacteria. Pseudomonas. Pseudomonas. Dentificants. Dentificants. Right. Note down this. They are used for the production of, commercially production of vitamin B12. And vitamin B2. Note down this one as well. For vitamin B2 production. This is called riboflavin. Right? Vitamin B2 mm -hmm. is called riboflavin. And for vitamin B2 production. Ashpea. Why? P I I. S there goes P. Both are important. CV statement you know, and biogas statement you know. Your process you know. So. Baculovirus, you know, Aisha? Baculovirus? Have idea yes. about the baculovirus? Okay, fine. So, baculovirus are important. So, they have asked about the baculovirus. And uh, that's it for this chapter. In case, other than this, if you have any uh, doubt, you can ask. Go through with your NCRT, you can. This is the only thing which was important. Class buster, vitamin B12, vitamin B2. Uh, Sometimes the process of this. Uh, CV statement. I have seen the question from the CV statement process as well. Right. And uh, that's it. Other than this, if you have any doubt, you can ask.
Done? Yes. Okay. From biotechnology, basically, you will get a question directly from the processors. Both chapters are important and both are equally important, basically. So, biotechnology principle and process. Uh, keep on telling. I think both concepts should be clear to you. Genetic engineering and chemical engineering. Yes, sir. Right. This concept. Yes. Um, I will tell you everything the question with whatever the question have been asked in biotechnology that is directly from the NCRT. No question I have seen that out of the NCRT. Uh, I have seen many times the question from this one. What this name of the restriction endonuclease means in, in uh, restriction endonuclease, what first letter represent, what second letter represent, what third, what fourth represent, right? So I think it should be clear to you, restriction engine, naming nature of a restriction engine. Asha, go through this one, go through with this slide and uh, tell me if you have any doubt in this one. Clear? Yes, sir. Clear, I said this part. Uh, right. I, I will tell you what are the sticky ends. Look. So, before going into sticky ends, I would like to tell you what are the palindromic sequence. So, basically, I saw palindromic sequence are those sequence you know like you must have seen that like malayalam you read either from this side or from the that side or either from left or right the same meaning will be there right so basically sticky ends are these hanging part right these hanging part which have the palindromic sequence and they are the hanging part right these part are called basically sticky end right so suppose that this endonuclease have been cut from here right if you read from here a a t t right and if you read from this side, A, 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 T, T. So they are basically palindromic sequence and these are called sticky ends. Whenever we cut any DNA, so we cut the DNA and we cut the plasmid with the same restriction. Why? Because if we will cut that particular plasmid and particular DNA with the same restriction and nucleus, they will have the same sticky end. And whenever we will try to join, suppose that, look, I have cut down this plasmid and this DNA with the same endonuclease. So look in this and in this plasmid you will see T A T A A A T T A A T T and the same palindromic sequence or sticky end are with the uh, this one uh, in this end DNA and what is the benefit of that the benefit of that whenever we will try to join the or we will try to fuse the plasmid and this DNA they will get fused right so sticky end are that hanging part of the DNA after they have been cut with the restriction endonuclease which have the palindromic C. So these part are called sticky. Sticky end. And if sticky end will not be there, the fusion of plasmid and DNA will not be possible. Clear? 
Yeah. So this the same thing that these are called sticky end. Sticky end. With the help of the sticky end, they stuck with each other, right? And formation of a sticky end will take place when we cut down with the same restriction. Recombination technology. I think separation of DNA and gel electrophoresis must be clear to you. Yes, okay, fine, great. This is very important. What does it mean, right? This is very important. What is ORIC? What is U second? What is this part? What is this part? PBR 322, multiple time question have been asked. So you must be clear what is the end third, right? What is the eco R1, right? What is the BAM one side, right? What is the origin of replication, right? What is selectable marker, cloning site, everything. So go through with it and ask me if you have any doubt regarding this. You can ask. Because this is important. And this AGBT, tDNA. Clear? Done? Yes. Okay, fine. PCR technique clear? This is important. PCR. Basically, temperature is important. So you have to remember from where you get the tag polymerase, right? What is the temperature of annealing, right? At what step, what should be the temperature? And from where you get the tag polymerase? What is the source of tag polymerase? What is its function of tag polymerase? That is the, that is the only question in this part, this pre-share part.
Yes. Uh, so look, basically there is a bacteria which is uh, found in the deep oceans part, right? So where the oceanic vent is there. So what is the oceanic thermo oceanic oceanic vent? So basically the volcano are not only found on the surface of the means land part. They are also found on the floor of the ocean, right? So at the ocean floor, the volcano, the mouth of the volcano, that is called thermo oceanic vent. So wherever the thermo oceanic vents are there, the temperature is there more than 200 degrees, right? So in those th around the those thermo oceanic vent, there are a special kind of the bacteria can be, uh, is found that is archaea bacteria, which can survive on uh, at the 200 degrees centigrade. The name of that bacteria that, that bacteria is Thermus aquaticus, right? So that bacteria that can tolerate the 200 degree centigrade temperature and very high acidic uh, environment. So the name of that bacteria is Thermus aquaticus. So basically, Thermus aquaticus bacteria can survive over here. And at that temperature, no enzyme can work for the DNA replication. But yes, the thermos aquaticus bacteria have a special type of that enzyme, which is DNA polymerase, that help them, that can work at that temperature, right? The name of that DNA polymerase, which is extract from the thermos aquaticus, the name is TAC polymerase. We use the TAC polymerase over here because when we do this process at 95 degrees centigrade at this temperature, other normal DNA polymerase enzyme cannot work over here, right? So that's why we use the TAC polymerase uh, enzyme, which is extracted from Thermus aquaticus, because it can work in the high temperature. Other DNA polymerase cannot work in the high temperature. This is the Thermus aquaticus or TAC polymerase. Tell me, is that clear? Mm -hmm. In PCR technique, we use the TAC polymerase, and the reason I have told you, so first we uh, separate the DNA strand with the 95 degrees centigrade. This is called denaturing. Then annealing means cooling down. TAC polymerase is mixed. Then at the both of the strand, again the temperature and step the synthesizing step means where when the synthesizing means the formation of new strand takes place at the both end. That is 72 degrees centigrade temperature. Then again the formation takes place. And we can make the 1 billion copy from the single DNA with the help of PCR. So this was the PCR technique. Bioreactor, hardly you'll get question. And uh, previous year question is like this way. Look, the question itself from the TAC polymerase enzyme is obtained from, I have already told you, Thermus aquaticus. And what kind of the bacteria, like what can be the next question? They can ask you what kind of bacteria. This is not normal bacteria, this is archaea bacteria, right? And those bacteria which can uh, bear very high temperature, we call them heliophytes, right? Then, uh, which of the following is an endonuclease? Can you tell me which of the following is endonuclease? B. Right. Uh, which of the following restriction enzyme produces blue and this uh, plastic clear? Which of the following is not a component of downstreaming process? Tell me. Which of the following is not a part of the downstreaming process? Very good. Great. A foreign DNA plasmid cut by the same restriction endonuclease can be joined to form the recombinant plasmid. Easy. What should be the answer? They are called biological glue or molecular glue. Ligases, come on. Ligases. Ligases are called molecular glue. They help in the gluing or joining the recombinant DNA. Yes, this question I've been asked. Tell me. The DNA fragment separated on agro gel can be visualized after the staining with which dye is used and what is the color? 
both question have been asked what is the color of that dye that question have been asked twice means what color uh, you get after illumination tell me aisha what should be the answer it is there in ncert the name of the dye dna fragment separated on agrees jewel can be visualized so look whenever uh, after uh, in dna in this yes you have given the answer see no 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 uh, ethidium bromide basically a will be the answer so ethidium bromide is used to stain the dna in uh, this agro gel electrophoresis and when you will uh, drop ultraviolet rays on uh, this dna you will get the uh, orange color so ethidium bromide it pro it eliminate uh, dna with the orange color right very easy seventh question what should be the answer how we separate transformant from non transformant b very good selectable part look this question uh, i was talking about this question recently this question i mean it is a old question 2011 uh, there is an restriction endonuclease called eco r1 what does the co co part represent tell me here it's easy Aisha, what should be the answer? Very simple. I told you in the naming pleasure part. That's what I was telling you. It is from neck. Co means coli. Is chirichia coli restriction endonuclease first? That is the mean of eco R one, right? A gross gel extracted from sewer. Uh, what is used in? We know that gel electrophoresis. So these are some glimpses of some question, right? What did I say? Go through with this chapter and ask me if you have any doubt in any part, in any heading, subheading, or any question you have, you can ask me.
okay great so after principal application part of the pattern so out of this application part yes uh, the first and foremost question which of the following transgenic have already been made so remember these example right so these are the animals whose transgenic have been made in our country clear yes and uh, transgenic you must be aware with that That question has been asked many times. Which of the following is transgenic? Gene therapy? Important, very important. ADA deficiency? Yes, that's clear. Clear? Okay, great. RDNA that is recombinant DNA simple how the recombinant DNA is insert, inserted this one temperature shock process biolistic process and micro injection these all three are important Tell me if you have any doubt in this concept, the dominant DNA technology. Biolistic, ask twice or thrice. And twice I have seen the question that in the biolistic, uh, which metal is used to, uh, to cover or code the uh, recombinant DNA? That question I have seen twice. Go through with it and ask me if you have any doubt. Aisha, is that clear? Okay, fine. Okay. Human insulin, it's easy. The name, this uh, uh, name of the company uh, which made the first human in that question I've been asked, right? Who, uh, Prepare the sequence that question have been asked right and uh, maturation process that have been asked to go through with it and tell me i think it should be clear to you easy <clears throat> but still if you have any doubt you can ask no, sir. bt cotton the most popular one bt brinjal and bt cotton this is important. The most probability of asking question from this part, Bt toxin. So Bt toxin, type of Bt toxin, there may be three category. Offensive toxin for the lepidoterans, coleopterans and dipterans, right? Lepidoterans for tobacco and worm and army worm. Coleopterans from beetles and dipterans from fly and mosquito. That if you have, then it's okay. If you don't have, please note down. 
This is the most important part of this chapter. What need? Okay, great. RNA interference, last but not the least. Yeah, sure. Look. Uh, basically, there is a plant. Uh, there is a, a nematode. Uh, our test technology is used against our round worm, right? That means nematodes, right? And uh, there is a, a, a melodogyne incognitia, right? So what is the melodogyne uh, incognitia? It destroys the root of a tobacco crop, right? And uh, it decreases the production of tobacco crop. Melodogyne incognitia. So melodogyne incognitia is a type of what root worm, right? So what we do, melodogyne incognitia, it it uh, attack the crop plant. So we are we design that kind of the crop plant which have a particular kind of the gene, right? What that gene do, right? So to uh, to prevent it, what we do, we take in a TI plasmid vector, okay? uh, right? A AGBT, right? Agrobacterium tumefaciens, right? AGBT vector, right? So what is the AGBT? So basically, AGBT, uh, uh, AGBT is Agrobacterium tumefaciens is a bacteria, right? Uh, this Agrobacterium tumefaciens, uh, what it do? Uh, uh, this uh, this uh, the, uh, this AGBT plant it produces cancer, right? Cancer kind of the means tumor formation. It is responsible for tumor formation, right? In a plant root. So AGBT uh, agrobacterium tumefaciens is a bacteria which produces tumor. Inside agrobacterium tumefaciens bacteria, there is a plasmid. The name of this plasmid is AGBT. We have put the name of this plasmid AGBT. So we take a TI plasmid, right, or AGBT plasmid from agrobacterium tumefaciens, right. Then what we do, the nematode specific gene is transferred to the host plant with the help of, with the help of this AGBT or TI plasmid. We transfer the a particular gene to that plant, right? So we have transferred that uh, gene to the plant. What this gene do? This gene will be spread inside the plant, right? Every cell of the plant. The plant has a complementary mRNA because of this gene, this transferred gene. Plant make a complementary mRNA. What kind of the complementary mRNA? This mRNA is complementary to mRNA of the that a that uh, uh, this one that round worm right then the rna make double stranded rna so when this rna enters inside when worm try to eat the plant this rna enter inside the cells of the that uh, round worm right when this rna which rna when the rna which is present in the plant complementary rna which is present in the plant it enter in the body of round worm what will happen? It make a double strand with the mRNA of the that round worm. When the double strand formation take place, that mRNA do not go further for the translation, right? Then the translation will not take place. Protein formation will not take place in the body of round worm, and the round worm or nematode will die if it will eat these uh, transgenic plant. So this technology is called RNA silencing technology or mRNA interference or RNAi. Tell me, is it clear, Aisha? Yes, sir.